Hello, me hearties. Dinky do a very, very good morning to you. The time is 10.15 on Tuesday, Tuesday the 12th of April 2022. Excellent. Lovely to have you with us. Come and join us. It's Scotty McClue, and we've got lots and lots to talk about today. So lovely to have you with us. Dinky do, Scotty. How are you? Kareem, good morning. You're very, very sharp off the mark this morning, Kareem. But then you always are, and I think that is incredible. So welcome, welcome, welcome. I say morning, Scott. He says, Louis Quinn. Louis, good morning. Lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do to you. Welcome, welcome to our Tuesday morning random pop-up. That's what it's about. What we've got, we've got a bit of fun going on with the rest of the world. How do you know when Scotty McClure is going to pop up live just for you? Dinky Doo, hello Scotty, good morning from Hamilton, Maximus, a lovely to have you with us, Dinky Doo, morning, morning Donny boy, so good to have everybody with us this morning, and a big Dinky Doo to you, I see, we will of course open the phone lines, and we'll have a bit of a chit chat, we popped up last night, random, 10 o'clock sharp, and boy was that an amazing show, just incredible guys, so we now know that this is working, and that is brilliant. Good day from New Zealand. Do you know the South Island, John? Good to have you with us from New Zealand. There we go. Uh, come and join us. Hi, hi, life on the pony. Good to have you with us. There's Chris, says hi, Scotty. Doyle says a good morning, Scotty. Dinky do. And Susan says good morning, Scotty. Good morning, Susan. Good morning, Doyle. And good morning, Chris. A very, very warm welcome to a random pop-up this morning. Donnie says, fifth day of COVID, and I'm fine. Good one, Donnie. Are you still confectious? That's what we need to know. Hello, Scotty. Hello, Joshy. Dinky do. Good to have you with us. And uh, South Island, originally from Macduff. Ah, excellent. Called Macduff, I would imagine, after Banff and Macduff in Scotland. There we are. New Zealand, if you're a New Zealander, you're effectively a Scot, I would say. Uh, unless you're actually Maori, of course, and you are indigenous. Uh, opinions, dinky do Well, odd humans, we don't really give opinions uh, on uh, on particular businesses. You know, we're not in that sort of uh, bracket. Uh, Mr. McClure, good morning, good morning. Findy Cool, how lovely to have you with us. And a very, very warm welcome. Never scroll, never troll. If you've found Scotty McClure, Stay with us. That's what I say. I'll test today, says Donny Boy. Right, Donny. Yep, that's right. Absolutely, John. Uh, now, who have we got here? Good morning from Somerset. Susan, how lovely to have you with us from Somerset. We love it. Dinky do. Uh, hi, Scotty. And uh, hi, Susan from Kareem. Excellent, Kareem. Wonderful. Great call last night, by the way, Kareem. Thoroughly enjoyed it. How many hats do you have? Oh, we've got lots. I mean, I've got a collection here. We've got uh, this one, uh, you know, beautiful, beautiful piece of work. And that comes from uh, from Hogs of Fife, you know. I mean, there it is there, Hogs of Fife. That's the field professional, the field pro. This is pure, pure Harris tweed, you see. And we have that one. That's a nice one and goes quite well with the jumper. So there we are. I might change halfway through, but that's pure Harris Tweed, and you can see the Harris Tweed mark there. So that's rather good, you see. And uh, what else have we got? We've got the Glen Gary, of course, uh, the Glen Gary. So we've got that, you see, and that's just a small collection that sits handy. Uh, we've got stacks of them. Do you like cheese? Uh, perhaps a wee bit of Stilton, very nice, on a cracker. Fabby hats, do you like them, Finn? I thought you probably would. Not bad. Want to take the dogs out before the rain hits us all for the day. Excellent. Well, do you want to give us a call, Kareem, or do you want to call us when you come back in? There we are. House of Brewer, Harris Street, very expensive. Oh, Kareem, it's expensive, but it's beautiful. You know, you've got to pay for quality these days, I think, because because there's so little quality about. And, of course, these uh, that's a, a great shop up there. Uh, now, what have we got here? Uh, yes, absolutely. Yes, indeed. Do you go shopping with your hat on? I do. And sometimes I forget to take the badge off. And that's funny. 
And people say, oh, I didn't realize it was just Scotty McClure there. Oh, all the rest of it. Good hats last a lifetime. Well, mine are probably around the 30-year mark already, and there's not a single bit of wear and tear on them. So there you are. I can't get through, Scotty. Kareem, that's because we haven't opened up the lines. Why don't you give us a call? I was going to open up the lines, especially for you, Kareem, because you are such an excellent caller. So there we are. So I would try it now, and with a bit of luck, you'll be getting through. Hello, mate. Hello, Alex. Fantastic stuff. Where are you from, says Yohan? I am from TikTok, Yohan, from the universe. Fantastic. Here we go. You're live with Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Hi, Scotty. Good morning. Oh, Hello. good morning to you, sir. What a great arrangement that was. <laughs> that was great. Thank <laughs> you. I love that. Can't get through. I thought, well, we haven't opened up the lights. I, I opened them especially for you, you see. No, thank you, Scott. It's much appreciated. Now then, what's happening this morning in the real world? Uh, I've not actually been long up, so I don't know if I've done any reading of the news or anything yet. I'm but... so glad you're taking advantage of your break because you wouldn't have got a chance to properly recover before uh, you went on holiday. Well, I'll tell you a funny thing, Scotty. You know, I think was it was over a month now that I had COVID pretty bad. Yes. Um, I, as you know, if you remember, I was at Aviemore last week. And the Tuesday, I was out. I had all the proper gear on, the, the, the waterproofs and that. And it was raining all day nonstop. Yes, but yes. since I've, I've came back from that trip, and I don't know if this is um, due to the COVID that I had, but my, my elbows and my knees have been really sore. Your joints. A lot of the time. Nice. Uh, so I don't know if I got chilled to the bone. Uh, I, I don't know. I just maybe it's old age keeping up. No, <laughs> not at all, Karim, because you're not an old guy. I mean, I um, get a bit of problem in my knees, but then that's just, uh, you know, age, and they've also been very hard used. Mm -hmm. Well, not maybe as hard used as, say, an international cyclist or something, you know? <laughs> Yes, yes, yeah, a bit of that. And yeah. sailing as well uses your knees a lot if you're dingy right. sailing and you're racing. Right, okay. Rowing, so, uh, rowing again the knees, you see. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just monitoring it because I just think, oh, everybody that you speak to that's had some form of COVID, they've had like, um, like some people, their chest has been always bad now or they just feel very, very tired. And it's, yes. it's quite funny how it's affected different people. Oh, it's not funny at all. It's tragic. But I think what, well, I, what, what yes. we'll do, I know what we say, we always say that in Scotland. They say, well, that's funny. You say, so-and-so uh, died the other day. You go, gosh, that's funny because I saw him just the day before. Yeah, you know, you yeah. think, no, it's not actually funny at all, but, but we do these things. Or sometimes when we get bad news, we laugh. You go, um, Jimmy so-and-so has been in a car. Are oh, we? You're joking me. Yeah. You know, it's, yeah. it's so strange just the way the body reacts, but I think it's, it's how we deal with shock. What I'll do, Kareem, I mean, yeah. we obviously yeah. don't discuss the pandemic on here because yeah. it attracts all sorts of nonsense. But what yeah. I think we might do is uh, ask the nation if anybody uh -huh. else that's uh, that's had COVID has had any threat to their joints. Yeah, yeah, and if I've got any tips, that would be much appreciated. Here's here's <laughs> Finn de Cool joking here. There's gout wrong with my knees. <laughs> There's gout wrong with my knees. It's strange yeah. stuff. But uh, no, we shall uh, we shall put that to the nation as well, Karim, because uh, you know this would be a good judicious use of our time this morning. Yes, but well, I'm going to start, my, my oldest dog, uh, Valencia, the, my shepherd, she's now getting to get mild arthritis. Yes. So I'm, I'm quite, I mean, don't get me wrong, she's very fit, and the vet said that, everything about her so fit and healthy, but she's, well, she's nearly, she'll be 10 this October. Right. And, you know, but you start to think, my goodness, how long do we have left? You know what it's like, it's just... Well, 10, I mean, I mean, uh, you know, Labradors, if you can get them past eight or nine, uh, my yeah. two, one made 13 and the other wee one with a gammy leg and a stroke for 10 years made it 14 and a half. Wow. Um, right. You know, now that's amazing, you know, uh, the power of love and you're the same. But I think yeah. if you look at how active dogs are, 
You know, yeah. you don't see them saying, I'll just take it easy today, Kareem, if you don't mind. As soon yeah. as you let them out, they go, right, I'm off to you. You know, yeah. and, uh, and, and they just have a great time. And um, if they see water, they like to get in it. And yeah. it's a while before you can get them dried and all that sort of thing, Kareem. You know what I'm saying? You know, so so they they don't really sort of uh, give themselves an easy life. No, no. My two like routine uh, more so than uh, like a lot of my friends' dogs. They just love everything routine, routine, routine. That actually upsets them as well when you're not in routine. Uh, yes. They come up right. What's going on here? Uh, what was the change? What's happening here? You know, <laughs> or you take them out for an extra walk during the day. So I'll just take the dogs and go. Well, this this is not normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I normally I sleep at this time. Why are we doing this? They're usually up for it, but that's another thing about the dogs. They're they're very clever at looking after themselves when they get back, finding a nice a nice bit on the couch where you're yeah. not sitting and just uh, getting themselves sorted. I, I think dog psychology, Scottish, is so fascinating and how Huge. they're absolute masters of reading body language. Oh. Huge. I mean, uh, you know, my lot would be asleep on the bed. I would be in the kitchen. I would touch the cellophane from the Abernethy biscuits and you would hear thud and then trot down the stairs. I hear the biscuits. You know, so there's that. The other thing is this sitting looking mournful when you're eating. That's them saying, I'm getting that off you and I'll use every trick in the book. Incredible, you know, but I mean, that's dogs for you, you know. Oh, I absolutely love them, you know. It's, it's a shame, though, that they don't live longer, yes. you know. But and I think great. our, um, I think, you know, we have to accept that their thinking is miles ahead of ours. So uh, this concept yeah. of a dumb animal is totally 100% wrong. You know, and, and, and we need to get we need to get the concept of that right. And when we've done that, uh, then we can start to make a make, we can make a start on understanding animals. I think humans can learn so much from dogs. And yes. the first thing which I think a lot of humans could take a leaf out of the book is loyalty. Yes. Loyalty, Absolutely. reverence and respect. And what I've said for years, Kareem. Uh, you know, they say a dog is non-verbal, a dog can't talk. How come they can look at you and two yeah. minutes later you're walking down the road with them? Yeah, they know. Yeah, they'll get the point across somewhere or another. You know, a wee <laughs> nudge of the knee. Are, we, are you listening to me? I'm saying to you, I want to go out. Yeah. You're yeah. right, okay. <laughs> no problem. And And I love that sort of thinking. And I loved, you know, my um minuscule intelligence matching the dogs you know yeah okay. it's interesting when you see them when they come up to other dogs and how they interact as well yes there's so much you can learn from them oh yes i mean i think some of the interaction human beings would probably get lifted if they if yeah. they tried the you know but i mean they're checking everything <laughs> who is this person uh you know what age are they how's their health you see? Yeah, yeah, so we'd yeah. go up and go, oh, hello, Mary, how are you keeping? The dog goes up and says, excuse me, let me just have a wee check of you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You know, and, and, and the tail's going, and if the tails are going, that's fantastic. Uh, yeah. Karim, um, just while you're on, I know last night we are discussing a totally different subject, but yeah. I've made a little TikTok video and a YouTube video this morning about the white Easter eggs. I've seen that one. You know, you and yes. I'm thinking we really need to have a government body and not with any agenda or anything, just a government body on traditions and standards in UK life. And I think we need to have somebody where these kind of politically correct people can engage with them, put their case and I think that if it's a lot of rubbish, like white Easter eggs, it can be thrown out. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. You see, because yeah. we need to mention all the colors of the rainbow. We need to have uh, freedom of speech. 
Of course, we don't want to deeply, deeply long-lasting offend people, but you're not going to. I mean, who has come up, uh, you know, which person of color would have gone up to a politically correct organization and said, any chance of a ban on white Easter eggs? You know, so we'd need to say, look, if you want to change something about UK life, then, you know, from custom and practice, then you must apply to us, approach us, put your case, say what the beef is, say where you found people who are offended, and, uh, you know, let's have proper petitions, discussions, all that, before we alter our way of life. I'll give you an example, Scotty. Um, it's a, I won't name the name as I normally do, but it's a streaming um, a company. Streaming platform, you know, yeah. You watch your videos, etc. Uh -huh. Now, they've got different categories. And you know, you always have action, you have horror, you have thriller, you have drama. Yep. And I found it quite interesting that one of the, the categories was black movies. Yeah. And I thought, wow, if... You know, if that was the other way around, like Easter egg, there would be people, you know, this politically correct group going off the nut. Yes, um, if you had a group of white movies and you used uh, to see organizations, I mean, media organizations, um, particularly the BBC, we would welcome applications from black and Asian people as they are currently underrepresented. Now, if you put in, we would welcome applications for this post from white people. We would welcome ac um, applications from Catholics, uh, as we feel they're underrepresented in this department. Yeah. You know, that's our thing. That is what I call racism. Yeah. yeah. That's genuine Absolutely. racism. And we've got it right on our TikTok and YouTube and Twitch by saying uh -huh. it doesn't matter who or what you are, as long as we've got uh -huh. something we can call you, your name. It's open to everyone, anyone, and I think that's that's the best message. And if society was like that, I genuinely believe you would put a stop to all that division. Yeah, yeah. You know? Absolutely. It's, it's, it's that sort of idea. Because yeah. what race are Easter eggs anyway? You know, right, okay. that's what we All need right. to find out. You know, what race yeah. are Easter eggs? <laughs> well, I said, Scotty, but I just thought it was, it was quite an interesting point, and I just think it, it just shows you that there's a lot of imbalance and yes. divisions are not good. And you young know. and young people <laughs> use these terms like racist and all that, and when they don't quite understand what they mean, like a yeah. boy once said to me, "They're bullying me." Uh, they're they're being racist to me. It wasn't bullying; it was racist. They're being racist to me because I'm from Paisley, <laughs> right? Yeah. Now, now you see that's what the child sort of understands. Mm -hmm. What he's really saying is, I'm trying to use every card here to get your attention to stop them doing this. Yeah, yeah. You know, that's because yeah. because I, I actually said. And what race are Paisley people? <laughs> yeah, absolutely. And I bet you'll be standing there thinking, um, uh... Yes. <laughs> Crazy oh, stuff. Dear My dear fellow, have a lovely day. The dogs will want to go. And uh, lovely talking to you as always. Thank you, Scotty. Have a great day. Thank Bless you, Bye. Bye. Kareem. Dinky do la. There we are. That's yeah. our Kareem. Always a great call, you know what I mean? Always something interesting to say. Now, who have we got here? What have we got here? My muscles are affected, says Donny Boy. Aha, uh -huh. there we are. It felt like flu, says Glasgow Man. Doing the test now, says Donny Dinky Do. Scotty Boy, a shout out to Jason. And Memo, working up in Fife. Guys, are you Fife? You have to, you have to use a lang spoon if you're supping with a Fife of skin. OMG, you always make me laugh. How are you? Jesse, lovely to have you with us. And Dinky Doo, my dog is fat, says one. Well, maybe it's just a big breed. Dogs are amazing, says Findico. I'm still positive again, Donny boy. How many days? I have no money for food, any help. We appreciate it. I'm deeply embarrassed. Nancy, for help. Henry, 
never, ever, ever be embarrassed about having no money in the present political climate. Angela, follow us as soon as you can. Hi from Birmingham. Hope you're fit and well, says the wonderful Angela. Uh, dinky do. Or when it's raining, they look at you at the door and say, you're having a laugh. Yeah, that's it. Well, I've had the dog do that. Somebody said, are you taking him out in that rain? I said, he's got to go out regardless. So I had the big Macintosh on. I opened the door and the dog goes, I'm not going out in that. <laughs> Jonathan, good morning. How lovely to have you with us. And a big dinky do. Now, lots and lots of stuff here. Um, good morning, Kareem. Not bad. Want to take the dogs out for the rain hits? My wife likes anything. Uh, with a blue vein. Is that right, Streaky B? Because she's into the Stilton. Uh, good luck with the walk, the dogs, Karim says, the lovely Susan. Uh, good morning, says the wonderful Gordon. I'm going to be listening to you in my birthday suit this morning. I'll be listening to you whilst doing my ablutions. Thank you for that, Gordon. Probably too much information, but we don't mind. Uh, people will have a picture of your Adonis-like figure, no doubt. Uh, you know, in their minds, may I add. In their mind's eye. Yes, that expression. Too much information. Absolutely streaky bacon. Uh, talking about dogs, I'm going with Oliver to the big indoor dog play park in Coatbridge this morning. We've got to know most of the other dog owners. Now, Gordon, is that a week since we spoke on the show? about that amazing it's really a nice couple of hours it will be gordon it's something different dinky do mr mcclue hashtag flow tie mr martin good morning to you hashtag flow tie good morning everybody totally agree scotty re the white easter eggs yes it's becoming a, a piece of nonsense you know and if anything the people that are saying these things they're the true racists so you've got to ask, are these divisive, politically correct organizations the true racists? Because the rest of us are not. Hey, Dinky Do, first live I've seen you on says Fat Man. Hope you don't mind me sitting in. My dog, Rockstar, is lazing on the bed like the owner. Fat Man, you're very welcome to join us anytime you like. And this is the first time you've seen Scott McClue live. You get yourself onto the YouTube channel. Get subscribing. Do you know we talked about subscribing to the YouTube channel last night? We told everybody it was free. And when I came off air, there wasn't a single person had subscribed. Now that's bad news. Come on, guys. Get your act together. Subscribe to the U channel, the YouTube channel. And tell me when you've done it. There we go. <clears throat> now then, how do we tackle the rising energy costs? We put the energy off to the greatest extent we possibly can. We just do not use it. So everything turned off where possible, bar probably the fridge and maybe the telly. There, so there you are, that sort of stuff. Uh, share as much as you can, guys. Hi, Poppy into the lives to say, hope you have an amazing day and stay positive. Scottish boy, are you not amazing yourself? Uh, so there we go. I'm not into football, so I wouldn't know. Best person for the job, regardless of background, black, white, anything. Findicoof, absolutely. Same with women in the boardroom. You know, as long as they are competent. They, it's, it's so patronizing. And it's sexist to put a woman in the boardroom just because she's a woman and doesn't necessarily have the right experience. Uh, so there we go. We need to get on to that. Now then, follow us, guys, as soon as you possibly can. Lovely to have you with us and a very, very warm welcome. Not too bad for trolls this morning. Can you follow us, please? Ghost Toasty, thank you for following. Very much appreciated. Everybody with an internet connection should follow Scotty McClue on TikTok, subscribe to Scotty McClue on YouTube, uh, join Scotty McClue on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. Very important. Uh, just wanted to say good morning, lads forever. Thank you very much for that. Very, very kind of you. 
And now there we go. Good morning, Zerdi. Karim is very kindly sending me TikTok gifts. Karim is a very, very generous man. Thank you to all you beautiful TikTokers for your gifts. He's just sent me a hat. There we are. And uh, footballs, uh, tennis balls, uh, TikToks. I can see it all here. And he's just sent me a baseball cap, I suspect. Was that what it was? A wishing bottle weights and the cap. Yes, it just says, oh, that was I am still. I am still another very, very, very generous man on TikTok. I can tell you. Good morning, Scotty McLean from Central Florida in the USA. Dino's Pad, how lovely to have you with us. And a very warm welcome from Florida. Donald Trump country. We love it. I think the Donald will be back, by the way, just tipping you the wink. There we are. Follow us as soon as you come on. Ladies Apple, I thank you. There we are. Ladies Apple. A ladies apple. Something to do with Adam and Eve, no doubt. There we are. Fantastic. Uh, Cash says drink scotch. Well, not if you don't drink alcohol, Cash. Not everybody has your lifestyle. Remember. Very important. Good morning from Massachusetts, says Walter. Good morning, Walter. Lovely to have you with us from Massachusetts. Yes. Are you from Boston? Hello from Jordan, says some guy. Some guy. We love having you with us from Jordan this morning. Tremendous. Uh, can you say epic fortnight? I can't, Sarush. No. We don't say things on demand here. This is different from all other lives. This is really right out the top drawer. So there you go, right up the top there. Uh, what have we got here? I got streamed at by the Secret Service. Uh, so there you are, says Dino's Pad. But driving, uh, I don't know what that one is, Dino's Pad. You'll have to tell me. Uh, from Kirkcaldy, dinky you do, Ken, Steve, Ken, the long tune. Good to hear you. On for the long tune, Ken, Kirkcaldy. Uh, streamed no cameras. Ah, Dino, I see. I understand what you're talking about. Uh, dinky do. Fantastic. What do you think about these people that cheek up to the police while videoing them? I think that's bad news. We need to change the law. Donald Trump's golf course. Ah, fantastic, Dino. Are you a golfer? I don't golf. I wouldn't know it in my soup. Lovely to have you with us. Uh, now, who have we got here on the old YouTube? Let me know, guys, uh, what you're watching on. Put a comment in uh, and let me know if you're watching on YouTube, Facebook Live, or Twitch at Scotty underscore McClue. Uh, there we are. Fantastic. Let me know if you're on TikTok. Come and have a chat with us and uh, tell 10 to tell 10. Get tap, tap, tapity tap, tapity tapity tap. Very important. Ha ha. Putt, putt, golf. Absolutely, yes, indeed. Crazy golf. Uh, do you have crazy golf in America or is all golf crazy? I've always found it spoils a good walk. Uh, so there we have it. But that's what they say about golf. It spoils a good walk. <clears throat> now, who else have we got here? Thank you very much, Dino Spad, for joining us this morning. This is the sort of thing you will enjoy. Scotty, what is the most populated city in the world? Oh, Robert, you've got me there. Is it um, something like San Antonio in Brazil, San Paulo in Brazil, or is it Calcutta? I'm just wondering. Something like that. Am I anywhere near with either of these? South America or India? Uh, I retire from, I'm retired from Walt Disney World. Excellent Dino's pet. We love it. What a top career that must have been. Do, did you ever meet Walt? That's what we want to know. Is that a mix of Kirkcaldy and Furrabut, Scotty? Have you ever lived in Aberdeen? Chris, I've lived in Aberdeen. Because uh, I worked at the Grampian Television. That said, I used to read the news. And uh, so uh, I can do you uh, a uh, bit of Aberdeen. Do you a bit of the dark. In fact, for your news, um, I was just wanted to can fetch it like for your breakfast. 
uh, Ariente Softies are the Lekka Rowi and the Lekka Rowi Crisp. Uh, Dhaka, uh, Bangladesh, says uh, some guy. What about that one, uh, if we're just asking? Robert Scrimger, is it Bangladesh? Is it Dhaka? Uh, unfortunately, no. He would roll over in his grave. Oh, so there you are. Right, Dino's pad. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised. My favorite was uh, I loved uh, when they did uh, the lady that wrote Mary Poppins and Walt tried to get her uh, on side. And she was very difficult about it. Fantastic. Uh, there we are. Was it entertaining Mr. Banks? Is that the one? Butteries. Ken, the Butteries. Uh, Arawi. Uh, going Hong Kong, Walter. Lovely to have you with us from Hong Kong. Fantastic. Thank you, do. Delhi. Chris is having a go. Is it Delhi, Robert? We need to get an answer. Uh, good morning, you legend, Scotty, says Captain Hovis. Morning, Scotty. Any tips to deal with stress? Yes. Watch Scotty McClue as much as you can. Get as much as you can of Scotty McClue's TikTok videos. Like them and share them. Go on to Scotty McClue's YouTube channel, Scotty McClue, Voice of the World, radio talk show, and subscribe and get watching there as well. It's in India, says far more. So there we go. Come on, Robert. We're not getting answers here. We've done our bit. You need to do yours. A great portrayal of Walt. Thank you, Dino. I hope you enjoyed that one. Amazing stuff. Tokyo is the most populated city in the world with 38 million people. Tokyo. Now, I need to go to Tokyo. Uh, and um, yes. So you've got Tokyo and you've got Kyoto. Same letters. There we are. What does Tokyo actually mean? That's what we need to know. Here's somebody calling. You're live on Scotty's phone in. Who's that? Me. That's me. It's lovely to hear me. Thank you very much for that. Uh, Dinky you know. Follow us as soon as you can. Hello, Sir Scotty. Good morning, Johnny. Dinky you do. Know. Lovely to have you with us. Wonderful stuff. So there you go. Give us a call, folks, if you're wanting to join in the chit chat. We like that then, actually. That was rather good. Fantastic. Now, Jackaroo has joined us. Jackaroo. Are you from down under? Because I've got a jackaroo hat. My son is currently stationed in Japan in the U.S. Navy. Dino Spad, my father finished the Second World War in Japan. Uh, well, no, I don't think he did. No, he finished the Second World War in India after he'd been to Japan at the time of, um, of Hiroshima. He was actually in Hiroshima. Then uh, his uh, regimental band were on the radio in Tokyo. Is that not just amazing? Mr. Martin says, rubbish, he doesn't believe Tokyo is the most populated city. Uh, I'm living inside your walls. Anime, you're actually living inside your own walls. Is this your idea of a trolley thing? How very silly. So there you go. But no, you're always inside your own walls, love. Uh, there we are. Great history. Absolutely, Dino. I mean, my father had an incredible war. The poor soul. You know, he was um, into a Scottish regiment, the Queen's own Cameron Highlanders. Then he joined the paratroops and was dropped into every major theatre of war, defending the bridge at Nijmegen, sent off to Norway to retake Solar Airfield. You'll see that on the TikTok videos. You know, all these things. Then um, off to uh, Japan at the time of uh, Hiroshima. And they were walking about with the uniforms on when there was all that radiation. And then out to India for guard duty. Again, you'll see all this on the TikTok videos. Incredible. So there you go. Now, Mr. Martin, what were you saying, rubbish, too? Uh, what's your thoughts on the Ukraine situation? I think we need to find out every bit of background about it. We need to look into what's going on within Ukraine. We need to find out why is Russia uh, doing all this? What, why? Or sorry, 
why is President Putin doing this? You know, we need to look at everything rather than just sort of accept everything because there's a lot of propaganda coming out of both sides here. And we need to keep a check on all these things. Still game, says Johnny. Uh, Google it, Scotty. All cities in Japan are largest. Very interesting. I will, Kareem, yes, indeed. 38 million people. I need to be broadcasting directly to Tokyo right now so that 38 million people can hear Scotty McClure. Yes, indeed. Get the figures up, I say. Is that the Mr. Martin who gave you abuse on the radio? No, Gordon. That's another Mr. Martin who might well call himself Mr. Martin after the Mr. Martin who used to give me abuse on the radio. Yes, indeed. Scotty, I like your hat and uh, who uh, is sadly no longer with us. But it's his birthday today, uh, I believe. Scotty, I like your hat. Thank you, Huey, from Holland, from the Netherlands. I used to sneak my radio on at night to listen to you, says Kelly. Kelly, thank you very, very much. I think a lot of young people did because their parents told them not to. Don't you be listening to that, Scotty McClure. And they used to sneak their transistor radios in and listen. Yes, quarter of a million people per half hour listening to that show. And then along came some dumpling head and decided they thought the station could do without it and had to sell the station. Disaster. Disaster. There we go. And I got on so well with people. There was no argy bargy. I was never big on it or anything like that. Do you know what I mean? In your opinion, Scott, who is the greatest Scottish king or queen in history? Got to go for David the First. David the First was excellent. Uh, you know, Kenneth MacAlpin, the first king of the modern setup. The Scottish monarchy is older than Scotland. Uh, the old Celtic kings going back 2,347 years to the ancestors of Re. But David the First was certainly a belter. I think that Mary, Queen of Scots, was done a huge injustice, obviously. Uh, she was a belter. Robert the Bruce, quite a boy, the Bruces. The Bruces are still about. Uh, I want to move in Scotland, but I don't know where. Give me advice. Well, Johnny, it depends what you're into. I can't give you advice because I don't know your situation. I don't know you. I don't know where you like to live, what you like to do. Uh, you know, and if we can start to narrow that down, we can start to uh, steer you in the right way. Hiya, Scotty. Medicated. How lovely to have you with us. And dinky do, I say to you. Sorry, I'm on another account, but it's still me. Not at all, Daily Rob. Good to have you with us here again. In your opinion. So there we are. So Robert, David the First, great guy. The Queen's father, George the Sixth, was a, a, an ans his ancestor's. And um, one of them was Malcolm the Second. So you had Malcolm the Second, you know. So there's been a lot of great uh, kings. Do you know anything about the Pictish from Fife? I don't, Kelly, no. I don't know a lot about, but where you'll get very ancient stuff is Argyle. Have a look at Argyle and Iona and um, Kilmartin. Mid-Argyle, Loch Gilpid, or Drishig. Uh, I want to help to get that affiliate grind. Well, you, what you have to do is get on to Twitch, everybody. In fact, I'm really appealing for half a dozen of you just to go and listen to the rest of the show on Twitch at Scotty underscore McClure so that we can get affiliated. I just need a handful. We're well up with everything else. I just need half a dozen of you to go and watch the show on Twitch right now and to join me. What do you think of the Stone of Destiny coming from home to Perth? I like the idea. You know, the Stone of Schoon is its actual title. Schoon Palace, and I remember the Mansfields. I knew the Mansfields, the Murrays. Lovely, lovely, lovely people. Uh, I think I'm too old for Twitch. No, no. I'm on Twitch medicated. I'm on TikTok. We got all this rubbish. I can remember starting on TikTok. They said, Scotty, that's for youngsters. No, not at all. You know, 
And if you look, you'll see a lot of mainstream people, entertainers, politicians, popping up on TikTok following Scotty McClue's example. Because the word on the street now is Scotty McClue's on TikTok. Oh, right, what's his handle? At Scotty McClue. Right, let's get following. Uh, guys, what I might do is pop this up for you. Oh, hang on a second. Um, there we are. Right. Uh, can you all follow us on Twitter? You'll see that come up on the screen right now. I describe on YouTube. I love your videos. Thank you, Johnny. You're never too old for anything, says Kelly. Absolutely. Believe in Jesus Christ, man. Everybody does ribbon. I don't know anybody in the right mind who doesn't believe in Jesus Christ because he existed. Why do you think we should ban rapping? We shouldn't ban rapping with a W, otherwise we'd see what's in our presence. But we should ban rapping with an R because it's just a load of tuneless nonsense. And I've even heard bad language in some of the lyrics in the raps. You know what I mean? So I think, no, 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 no. Um, I don't believe, sorry, medicated. You can't not believe in Jesus Christ. He existed. Do you see what I'm saying to you? There might be aspects of his life that you think, oh, wait a minute. But you can't not believe in Jesus Christ. That's like saying, I don't believe Winston Churchill existed. You might not like him, but he did exist. Uh, so there we are. So there you go, medicated. There we are. Uh, let him have his own opinion. Absolutely, Michael, but that's not an opinion. That's a fact. So there you are. Everybody has to believe in Jesus Christ because he existed. He's a fact. <laughs> you know, I don't know with people. You have an awful job telling me, oh, I don't believe, oh, no for me. She's no my queen. There's another one some idiots say about Her Majesty the Queen. She's everybody's queen. That's why she's there. Uh, Jesus was real, but God is questionable of what we perceive God to be. Now, Karim, what do we perceive God to be? Because my first question to an atheist is, can you describe what you don't believe in? Otherwise, you can't not believe. And if they describe what they don't believe in, they're effectively describing God. You see? So there we are. But what I would say, hi, I love you. Thanks, Emix. Good morning, Scotty. Ah, a goat name, Jeff. I tried to call in on my way to what this morning. It wouldn't go through on my something. Must be your system. I understand, yes. Uh, there's MUFC has joined us. Lovely to have you with us, MUFC, and a big dinky do to you. Welcome to Scotty McClure. What's happening on the chat? Um... Being a son of Robert, Robert's son, I cast my vote for King Robert the Bruce. Your vote is cast and accepted. There you are. Absolutely. Your polling card. I'll just do a strike through your name there. Fantastic, Gordon. Uh, so that's you. Yes, King Robert the Bruce. I'm a Robert the Bruce fan. I have to say because of Robert the Bruce and the spider. He tried, tried, tried again. If at first you don't succeed, try, try, try again. As a friend of mine said, if at first you don't succeed, chuck it. Never heed. <laughs> I personally believe in God, but it's your opinion. Well, no, Michael. Uh, if you believe that, well, it's not a question of if you believe. Here's a fact. In the world, good must always triumph over evil. Now, there's a huge amount of good in the world. Check my TikTok video from yesterday. There's also a massive amount of evil. I've only met one bad man, one evil man, who took money off me on a business deal. And I lost a lot of money. But he was also a very, very, very bad man and very evil. And that's the only bad person I've ever met. But in the world, good must always triumph over evil or the world fails. And we need to be mindful of that 
at the moment because there's a lot of evil around. But you have to identify who is actually evil. So good over evil. Let me put it up in front of you. Let me draw it for you. Good over evil. Write the word good and a line and the word evil. Let me then make a slight change. Take one O out of the word good. And what do you get? Put a D in front of the word evil. And what do you get? I rest my case, my lord, my lord God. I send in the SAS with many Scots to fight the Russians. No, you see, I don't think we need to be fighting the Russians. How much did you lose, says Michael? My life savings, Michael. This guy's an expert in taking people's life savings off them. Uh, so why would God allow bad people? God isn't allowing bad people. The devil is allowing bad people. So we need God to fight the devil. So good must always triumph over evil. And that is all of the world's great religions. So there you have it, guys. There's, there's a case for you. Uh, right, what have we got here? I normally just throw them both on at the same time. Throw both what on at the same time. Um, Twitch and YouTube. Ah, yes, got you. Well, Rob, if you can get everybody watching Twitch for 10 minutes, uh, that would be wonderful. Apparently, the Stone of Destiny is at the Arlington Bar on Woodlands Road in Glasgow. I bet you've heard that too. Oh, we hear all these things, Gordon. Fantastic. Dinky do. Uh, advertising. Uh, now, what have we got? This is Zach from TikTok. Power Zach. How lovely to have you with us. And Dinky do. What's flow tie, says Michael. Hashtag flow tie, Michael. All uppercase. First Lord of the Internet. That is my official title. The First Lord of the Internet. There we go, didn't you do? Um, now, yes, they use quite offensive words at times in raps. Yes, they do. Now, there we are, didn't you do? There's John D. Mack, who describes himself as a banger. Wow. Uh, are you boasting, John D. Mack? There we are. Prove it, says Mr. Martin. Proof what, Mr. Martin? The proof is there. <laughs> good words drive over evil. You're asking me to prove if there's good and evil in the world. I don't know. There we go. Good to hear. Excellent stuff. Evil is rife. Derek and Clive, it is. It's rife at the moment. We need to be careful. But we need to check out who's the actual baddies. There we are. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his light to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. The Lord bless thee and keep thee. The Lord cause his light to shine upon thee and be gracious unto thee. The Lord lift up his countenance upon thee and give thee peace. There are we song for you this morning. That's a very philosophical question. Not really. I've not met a lot. Probably the only ones my son says. Oh dear. Scotty, I'm not going to lie to you. You're a very opinionated person. But no, I'm not really opinionated at all, Michael. I'm not going to lie to you. I'm just a man who deals in fact. So I, I've barely got any opinion at all. So I should really be working for the BBC, because you're not allowed an opinion, apparently. Scotty, why don't you allow duets and your wee videos on here? We do. Uh, Scotty, I just believe the soul that lives on. Well, of course it does. We have eternal life. He that believeth in me, saith the Lord, shall not die, but shall have eternal life. Uh, so there we are. What a lovely singer. Scotty, you're a very talented Christian, Mr. You're very, very kind. There we go. Lol, says the Daily Rob on here. That's incredible. Thank you very much. And thank you, Robert Scrimger, for these lovely words. For the Lord bless thee 
and keep thee. There we have it. Amen. Absolutely, Austin Zobel. How lovely to have you with us. And thank you, do. guys. Can everybody get sharing the TikTok and the YouTube videos, uh, sharing the live to let other people know that we're actually on? That's the only thing we need to build. 12 hour shifts should be outlawed. I agree, John Watson. Scotty, why are you ignoring me, says Michael. Michael, we've ignored nothing of what you've said. We've read everything out. People can't say there's nothing after death because energy cannot be created or destroyed. Indeed, X is Z. Y is Z, Z. Very wise. You're correct. Of course, there's things after death. You don't think we're here to get all that experience and meet all these people and then go away and do nothing with it, just lie in the cool brown earth. No, 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 no. Your body wears out. You'll get a new one. Thank you, Scotty. How are you, sir? We're fine, Titanic. Is this the day the Titanic sank in 1912? Was it April the 12th? I asked if you could send a treasure box. Yes, you can send a treasure box, my dear man. Oh, just missed that call. Give us a call back and we'll, uh, we'll get you. I just missed it. We didn't get to you in time. How many kings of Scotland? Seven or eight. Uh, there's a pub in Fife, the seven kings. Ooh, lots of Scottish kings. Who's this? Hello, you're live in Scottish phone in. Who's that? Scottish, Kareem, thank you. Do. Oh, Kareem, thank you. Do. Have you been out with the dogs? I'm out with the dogs, but I just thought I had to call in regarding the, some of the topics that have been raised because they're so quite interesting, especially about God. Kareem, tell me, and it's nothing to do with me, I shall absolve myself of all responsibility. Is this not a fantastic show this morning? It's been outstanding, as well, <laughs> Scottish. You yes. know, I mean, is this not a fantastic show, or is it not yeah. a fantastic show? I don't know. I mean, I, I just love the way we're doing it now. Yes, I love on. that because <laughs> everybody said to me, you'll never get anywhere unless you're topic based. And I thought, no, you're underestimating the intelligence of the people. Yes, I think that's right. But I also think God is an energy. I yeah. think he was the creator way, way, way before any big bangs or anything like that. I uh, think that Darwin was a great thing to push, but I don't think there's necessarily much truth in it. Yes. Well, I there was a, a video, and I, I can't remember all the big fancy names, but it's very, very interesting. It was about the universe, and obviously when it started from the Big Bang, and I've, I've said that before, if you want to believe in God and as an energy, that was the birth, that was the start. Yes. And then from there, this energy, universes upon universes upon universes, have been developed and made. But one thing that this video said, which was very interesting, and it's what I've said about if you believe God is a creator, then this energy of creating universes, it will come to an end one day when the universe burns itself out. Yes. And then it will start all over again. So all life within this universe, not just in this world, but throughout all these universes, it will come to an end. We can't. We can't think about the time scale because it's totally unimaginable to human mind, but it will happen. So are we talking like billions of years ahead? Oh, well, we're talking multi-billions of years ahead. Yes. So this is, we just can't, can't figure out, you know, you, you can't put a number to it. It's just 
crazy, but it will happen one day, and then it'll be all darkness again, and then it'll take time for the next big bang or the new creation again. But you see, the other uh, thing, Kareem, we have a book of instruction, if you like to call it that, a code for living, yes. and uh, that's your your holy books, your Bible, or your Quran, uh, yes. you know, or or um, the, the 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 Jewish one. Um, you know, uh, just whatever. All religions have their have their books and have their scripts. And um, I, what I'm the the um, what I'm thinking is that these instructions. There's a saying: you cannot change the word of God. Like if you're reading an ordinary book, you don't make any attempts to change the words if you disagree with a paragraph. You know, so it's a question of reading and saying, oh, well, that's interesting and I can understand that and what have you. But I tend to never disagree with anything until I've fully understood it. Yeah. Uh, you know, from that, like that guy saying, I'm, I'm, I don't wish to lie, I'm not lying to Scotty, you're a very opinionated man. I wouldn't say I've actually even got an opinion at all. I tend to be factual. I say, well, I'm just giving you the facts, you know, and you get people argy-barging with that. Now, um, what I think, um, if, if we look at the Bible, all the books of it, I mean, some people have got the Old Testament and the New Testament. But the Old Testament is very, very interesting. And if you cannot change the word of God, we've got certain individuals in the world today thinking because they've got most of the money that they can play God. And I don't yes. think anybody can ever play God. And I think there will be, you could call it divine right, you can call it karma, you can call yes. it some sort of adjustment that I think yes. will happen to these people if they try to play God. I'll leave you with a thought then, Scotty, and I won't take credit because I was listening to this, it was from a, an actor, uh, and he said that if Make It The World Was To End, Something happened, human race, everything was was gone. It disappeared and then life started again. And then somehow humans or some type of intelligence came back again. The holy books would not exist anymore. Nobody would not know anything about, about those books. Mm -hmm. However, what is certain science, probability, validity, all this stuff, that would come back again because mm -hmm. that's, that's the natural law. Well, you see, Kareem, here's, here's, let me leave you with a thought, <laughs> right? Um, Christ will return. Now, yes. will Christ return the next time? So you say nobody will know about the holy books, but wouldn't it be interesting if the world completely destroyed itself, then came yes. back and there was God and Jesus right in the middle of it? With the second coming well that could be well you never know and your science your science might just be a lot of bunkum no i'm I, I, sorry I, I was respecting people's opinions of course it is and, and that's that's what I, I i i do i think god is a, is a form it's an energy but i yes. don't think it's someone you can sit down and have a conversation with and like help me give me magical powers all this stuff that a lot of people do believe you know so um I, that's my own opinion anyway and i'm sure there'll be many people who have, have a different opinion. i'm sure they will kareem i'm laughing here we've got a guy called dave deprave 666 yes. saying not kareem such a boring man now oh, dave oh. deprave <laughs> right dave deprave <laughs> Uh, I think is a half-witted idiot we got rid of the last time. Yes, and yet he comes back. He comes back, you see, because he loves hearing you. And he's a wee bit jealous because he wishes he was you and he wishes he could articulate oh. like you. Oh, well, thank you, Scotty. So, I just thought I really wanted to call in about that, about the God um, um, topic, because I do think it's... I, I think... People need to respect, I do respect all religions, I do respect faith, people need faith, some to push them forward. Yep. What I don't respect is when people impose that on other people. You have to respect faith, but don't impose it on other people. I understand. Opinion. Kareem, we're going to have to say bye, we're out of time. Yeah, bless you, thanks for taking my call again. Thank you, do lot, Tarana. Guys, we're out of time, we're going to have to leave it there. Fantastic. What an amazing morning. Wow. 
You guys are absolutely first class. I just realized the time there. I thought, my goodness me, well, there's a saying that time flies when you're enjoying yourself, and we are right out of time. Love you guys. Lovely having you with us, and thank you, dear. Uh, that's what it's all about. I agree with them completely, says Rob. Ta-ra, love.